Hi, welcome to your Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do that hexagon grill in Fusion 360. Went pretty well, even better than in Inventor, because in this program I can project a curve to a surface. So, let's have fun with Fusion 360. Okay, so let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. I need a circle. Diameter should be 600. Then I need some construction lines. Okay, maybe like that. Deactivate and trim. And those two points should be aligned horizontal. Give it a dimension. And that might be 80 degrees. And in this case, I have an axis. So I could, so I could finish that sketch and now make a surface revolve with this one. The axis would be that one. And I want it to be symmetric. And I want to go for 70 degrees. No, so it's 35 degrees to both sides. OK. Now I need a plane. And I need two offset surfaces. So let's go for an offset surface. Let's see. Offset to this one zero and hide this one and make another one create another offset surface again with zero millimeter offset and maybe hide this one hide that one show this one now i need a plane So let's see, I need a tangent plane to a face at the point. Let's see if it can snap onto a point. Maybe face and no point. I would need a point so I could go and just make it with a distance. So go for distance here to this one and that would be 300. Let's make a sketch on that plane. That would be an hexagon. Polygon, yes. Doesn't matter which one. Okay, snap maybe onto that direction and give it a dimension and that dimension should be 10. So that sort of turn it around. Let's select this one and make it horizontal vertical. Yes. Finish that sketch. I need another sketch to project that sketch onto that surface. So go for a second sketch doesn't matter on what plane i go for one of the origin planes and now let's go to create project include project to surface and the faces would be this one and the curves project type close at point that's okay and go for the curves 
Let's try to select the curves. Should be possible. There's no color change because of the blue selected surface. And confirm. Finish that sketch. Now let's hide. That's the first sketch, that's the second one, and that's my projected sketch. Okay, so let's trim, go to surface, go to trim, and I will hide the body for the moment. I want to select the trim tool, it's easier to select. This one, press control, select the other ones. Now bring back the body. Now select the side which should be removed. This side should be removed and confirm. And I got my hexagon here. Now let's thicken that one. So go to create. Let's take a look. Thicken. And I want to thicken it to both sides. Symmetric. Yes. Select the surface and make it one millimeter and confirm let's inspect that edge just in case it's wrong so i want to inspect that edge and that's two millimeters yes that's okay now i want to make a pattern let's show the face not show the face for a moment some correct oriented so the pattern should be around the x-axis yes okay go for a circular pattern which should be here go for a circular pattern and I want to pattern bodies that will body around that edge or that axis here not full but an angle and I need six instances so that would be 15 degrees I suppose six instances looks okay can I turn it around not really so I will go for minus 15 let's see Yep, and okay, now I want to move this body, that body, and this one. So go to solid, and let's see, can we move, there's a move copy command, yes. I want to move the bodies, yes. Selection, I want to move this one, this one, and that one. And I want to turn it around, rotate it around the x-axis, yeah, no, sorry, that's wrong, around the z-axis by 1.75 degrees, or minus 1.5, one. so let's go for minus, minus. And confirm. Let's hide that curve here. Now I want to pattern those circle around the set axis. But maybe just maybe it's a better idea to first do the second surface thickening and then yeah, because I, th these are only six bodies and they're easy to hide them more. So let's bring back our plane. Let's hide those bodies. And bring back our plane. I need a sketch on that plane. And that would be a rectangle, but if possible, a centered one. And this could be one three five by three four zero 
finish that sketch. Now another sketch, maybe on this plane. And let's bring back our surface. And now project to surface. Let's try to select the curves. This curve, that one, this one, and that one. Closest point, yes, to this surface. Yep, and confirm. Hide that sketch. Let's do a trim, but first finish that sketch. Go to surface, go for trim, select those curves, bring back the surface and remove the outside and confirm. Now let's thicken this one. So go to create thicken that surface, symmetric yes, 0.5 millimeter yes and confirm. Now, let's hide, I'll give that a different name if possible. So, no rename, or is there some kind of name? If we go to properties, so I have to click twice and call this uh, second trim it's like could make a difference here and that should be hidden as well let's show those bodies and I want to pattern those around the set axis so go to create pattern circular pattern i want to pattern the bodies yes the objects these are the objects axis would be the set axis and it should be an angle it should be let's say 32 and 10 yeah it looks good confirm now I want to mirror those so go for is there a mirror yes mirror and select it okay and these are the ones which should be not mirrored so that's okay but this one now if I mirror I would get this in the middle, that in the middle, this in the middle. So I don't want these as well. Yeah. So the mirror plane would be that one. And confirm. Now let's mirror the whole bunch. So go for another mirror. Select them. And deselect. those and the mirror plane would be that one and confirm Now I want to remove those from the thickened trim. 
so how to yeah I could exclude those from the pattern because then I don't have to deselect them so let's go to the circular pattern and edit it and I don't want to pattern this one so deselect it like this okay yeah so I don't have to deselect too many okay that's okay and I could exclude this from the first circular pattern as well but leave it like it is let's go for solid go for combine go for a cut and the target body would be this one and the two bodies are these and I don't want to use that one and let's take a look yeah I don't want to use this one this one this one that one and that one takes a while to deselect okay and same on the other side these should be not selected because if you select them you will get an error message so go for ok and I should have my grid yeah because it's not visible now it's visible ok I could hide the other ones like that nice 